and welcome back to the new video. So in today's video, I'm going to say with you the GD San Andreas best ultra realistic graphics mode for your Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Well, this graphics mode is way better than the previous one that I have uploaded on my channel. So do you want to know how to install and how to use this graphics mode? So first of all, let's talk about the system requirements in order to play this mod. But if you want to really enjoy this graphics mod into 20 to 30 FPS on lowest setting as possible and lowest resolution as possible, then make sure you have this type of system requirements installed on your PC. First of all, talking about a RAM, so you will need at least 4 gigs of RAM. So this mod requires at least 4 GB RAM, so it's not possible to run on 2 GB RAM. So uh, if you have 2 GB RAM, then please kindly upgrade. It will be great for you only. Okay, so talking about our processor, you will need at least 4 core processor in order to run this graphics mod and you will need at least 2 GB of dedicated graphics card. Well, if you have this type of system requirements, then you can easily play this graphics mod into 20 to 30 FPS on lowest setting as possible and lowest resolution as possible. Well, if you want to really enjoy this graphics mode into 60 FPS, I mean, so you don't want to compromise with image quality. So please make sure you have at least 6 GB of graphics card. GTX 1660 Super will do a pretty good job in order to play this graphics mode into very ultra quality. And talking about our processor, you will need hexa core processor. AMD Ryzen 5 3500X will be greatest. And talking about our RAM, you will need at least 16 GB of RAM in order to run this graphics mode into very ultra settings. So yeah, that's all the specifics of this mode, let's move towards our next point. So talking about our features, this graphics mode provides you the high quality bloom, complex shadows and many more sophisticated effects that you cannot imagine. Well that's all the features of this mode, we should move to our installation video. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video guys. But wait, before we get started, please make sure to leave a like on this video, share this video to as much you can and if you are new then please make sure to subscribe to our channel and be active user of our modding community. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started to the video guys. Alright guys, so as you can see we are in our desktop screen and first thing you will need this file, check description for more information. Right click on the first file and then click on extract here and it's pretty easy to install, please make sure to follow my every step. Ok, so once your folder has been extracted, then open your extracted folder, then simply open your game directory from here. Ok, so once your game directory has been opened, then just simply drag and drop all of these files into your game directory and then hit on replace if it has. So we have successfully installed our mod into a game directory. Now simply just run enb.exe and then your game will 100% start. So I will fast forward the video, I will meet you in the end. Alright guys, so as you can see we are in our game and our game looks too awesome, isn't it? Just look at those beautiful effects, it's looking too awesome, isn't it? So yeah guys, that's all for today, thank you so much for watching till end. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video then please make sure to leave a like on this video. Share this video to as much you can and uh, if you are new then what are you doing please make sure to hit the subscribe button. So yeah as always I'll see you into the next one till then goodbye.